And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. <laughs> I'm learning how to carl this song. Kill it, dude. It's a rainy day. It is Came inside for some fire. I look like a drowned rat. Look, oh my god. I totally forgot about that. We drove down to North Carolina. Yeah. Me, you look like a drowned rat. Me, you, and Louis J. Gomez. And we walked in, and the lady at the front desk of the hotel told Louis he looked like a drowned rat. <laughs> it's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. And joining us for the show, the young bull, Shane Gillis. Yes. Mm, Shane Gillis. Uh, I, want- I control your mic levels. You're- oh, no. Is the mic not good? Is it good? Yes. What about now? Yeah. Yes. Before yes. I, uh, I thought that was me. Yes. Before we make Shane uh, Gillis. Before we announce what today is, it's a big day. Uh, I just want to let you know. Cause I just want to get out of my head the prank I was going to pull on you, but it just wouldn't make sense at all. Now that you've committed hardcore to coming over on Sunday, you've promised the world. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, well, you've promised the world. I'm just saying. No, I'm going to definitely be there on Sunday. I mean, that's what you keep saying. I'm going to land at LaGuardia. I'm going to drop my bag off. Well, don't gonna... make it seem like you're going like crazy out of your way for us. I'm probably going to kiss my children goodbye. Oh, yeah. They haven't seen me in because years. They, I'm just a blur to them, kids. I'm just a cat <laughs> in the cradle in the silver spoon. So little much little, I wanted, though. Just, but you already know what I'm getting for food for everybody yeah. and everything. And I was going to just do a thing where I was going to crack open a sandwich for myself in the middle and be like, oh, dude, this, I got this by <laughs> your neighborhood, dude. He goes, you want something? I think there's a couple places open you could order from. Try to put the lone wolf in a corner because I would have just called up Wolf Nights. Yeah, you don't care, but you would. It would have bothered you a little bit. It blew Jay away that I had people over for Monday Night Football and didn't have a spread and food. Spread? I didn't say a big spread. You should have a spread. Chips. You should spread, dude. <laughs> they walk in. They're like, "Damn, your butt! <laughs> your Chip. butt's just out." Shane, chips. Chips. You had no crisps? No crisps. Nothing. You know what I had? I brought street meat for myself. For himself. He brought food for himself. You want to you eat in this pack? You bring your food that back is, yourself. That's fucking wild behavior. <laughs> yeah. You bought your, you got your own food? Yes. Yeah. And everyone else just had to <laughs> figure it out. If you want some, get some. Yes. Up to your address. You know, if they, no one wanted to eat because it was late enough. But Well, I figured it turned it out because they were probably like, Dan, you hungry? I'm starving. You're like, no, I ate already. <laughs> I just ate in the first quarter. <laughs> Um, that's pretty uh, crazy behavior. It that would have that would have been a fun prank, but it wouldn't have worked on me. I would have walked right through it. No, you wouldn't have. You would have thought it was weird. You, you should. You'd have been like, oh, I thought. Thank I, you, I thank thought you. you were getting Sandwich King for. Okay, I, I should have said that I wanted one. T- okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. What do you get? That this is my yeah. would have been my exact uh, reaction. What are you getting? Uh, on cu- Sunday, couple tunas, couple of towels. All right, night. No, a bunch of wings. Am I getting some fucking dings? Dude? Yeah, we're getting some wings for all sure. Right. And Cowboys, it. Eagles. And I'm, I'm sure there'll be chips and dips. Are you whatever. guys putting money on it? I'll throw money on three it. Three and three? You wouldn't throw money on that you don't at trust, home? You don't trust your three our, and three our Cowboys. Number one wide, we just got beat by the winless Jets. Our number one wide receiver is not going to be playing. In we Dallas. just had a defensive, uh, end, uh, a starting Cooper's defensive not, end go down. I mean, Cooper's not playing? He's more than likely not playing. And even if he is, he's going to be a waste. Yes. Yeah. You guys got this in the bag. Go and birds. maybe and maybe Deshaun Jackson comes back. Go birds. Go birds. Uh, but Sunday, black, Sunday think... is a big day of its own. But let's talk about what today is. The birthday of Shalom. our very own little sweet, Shalom. sweet, sweet Jacob. Ah. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Jacob. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I say we try to pick Jacob up in the chair. Watch your thumb, Dan. (laughs) Do you think me, Shane, and Dan can lift Jacob up in this chair? Not in that chair. Why? In that chair we can. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get him up. Let's do the horror with this son of a bitch. (laughs) I think that's more of a you guys thing. Why? You won't be a part of that? No. (laughs) Why? Because we're going to put Jacob through some sky tiles? (laughs) So what? Wow, Jacob. How do you feel, bro? Are we not doing it? Oh, no, I'll do it. Might have to do it on the break. What's that? No, set it up. That chair. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. You ready for it? I'm in. Let's do it, dude. Damn. Well, we can't. We have to do a radio show. They're not going to get it at home. You know what? I'm just here for the lift. Yeah, you're doing great. I don't know about you guys. Oh, you've been lifting. You've been pumping iron. I'm just here to. Oh, you're ready to show how fast your side goes up? I'm just ready for the gains. I, uh, dude, we're doing, doing clean and jerks. What are we doing? Oh, Happy birthday, Jacob. Jacob, how old are you, dude? Happy birthday, Jacob. How old? <laughs> say it into the mic. How old? Who is president? Stop being it's a insane. lady. How fucking myself. old are you, dude? Jacob, say it. It's so queefy to not yeah, say your name. Good lord. 
Forty nine. Yeah. Forty nine. Go Forty Niners. Forty Niners. Damn, you're almost fifty. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Damn, dude. He's old enough to be your dad. You're like Phil Gill. Do you Happy think birthday, Jacob. Happy birthday, Jacob. Damn. Happy birthday, Jacob. All right. Wow. Make a wish. Wow. It was Congratulations. Good. Thank you. He clapped for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, did you clap. wish me to come over and grab your wiener? Because I almost did it, thinking that might have been your wish. Do you know I groomed down there this morning? Did Whoa! you? What'd you do? Well, it's did your you, birthday. You never know what's going to happen. Did you I sing a, to feel sexy on my birthday. Fate yes. might swing your way tonight, buddy. Did you sing a song like Butters when he pees? <laughs> or are you like, I'm grooming it, I'm grooming it, In I'm grooming it. Shave job. Ew, dude. Do you think oh, Jacob pees great. with his pants all the way to his ankles Ew. and pulls his shirt up? Yeah, he goes. Definitely. He's <laughs> <laughs> the little kid one. Shirt under his chin. Adam Ron. That was the kid that did at my school. He had a really tan ass. <laughs> Adam Ron had a tan ass. That guy had a nice tan butt. And then people were mean, and they started saying that the tan was fat cream, which doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> what does that mean? I do think there was a thing in the 80s where they would like make advertisements that you could rub a cream on your body that would make you less fat. I and just they re- said that he had fat cream on. <laughs> he was also the kid they said jerked off under the table, which didn't happen. That's that school myth, always. This ki- No, nah, uh, I had a kid get it done. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Under the desk? Got it done. And then got up in class and got tissues. Oh, but he got it done like jerked off in class off, to yeah. completion. Be, but yes. he was being like that's impressive. He jizzed in a desk. No, but he was being <gasps> one like, of the cubby hole ones. Yeah, he cream pied a desk. Where he's like, oh, yeah. yeah, he goes get that eracer in there. You got a eraser in there? <laughs> reason, have, reason for coverage. You got to have him pull that out. Um, but he jerked off because it was like that was the gag. How what grade? Seventh. He was a year older than me. I think he was in eighth grade. Okay. Was might, might be George. myth, dude. Might be myth then. No, you no, weren't no, there? No, 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 no. You okay. weren't there, though. Close friend. It was a very tight knit community. Mm-hmm. I was friends with all the guys that were there. There's no way they would, you know. And they said he an came trip. inside the cubby desk. This is a complete true story. But hang on, yes. Shane. Were, were you all friends with the guy who did it? Yeah. Okay, he was that's, on the that's the team. point I'm saying. We all played I, football, yes. Different this situation. Was a jizz, he jizzed in the day. I'm talking he, about telling people saying that they discovered somebody jerking off. Like they got caught jerking off. Do you mind, their death. Do that's do you mind if, I, if I ask the subject? Uh, I, I I know the subject. Well, I remember the teacher. It was well, social studies. I could jerk it to social studies. Yeah. I think I could get one off in yeah, social yeah, studies. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. math math would be too fucking tense. Be, the youngest yeah. football coach teaching it. Yeah, <laughs> what <laughs> math? Wait, come quick. No, it's social studies. Uh, social studies. Yeah, that was always a football coach. Mine was uh, a lady. This was a very undesirable... a lady football coach. That's why no. your team sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> undesirable like, lady. Very, it must have been a difficult. Well, I mean, he was in fucking eighth grade. So I didn't have one hot teacher one ever growing up. Ever, really? Not once, ever. The entire career, whole career, uh, absolutely. Jacob, what are your plans for your birthday tonight? I mean, this is it. And uh, Andy, Lou, Lou, um, Morale, they all took me out for lunch today. Oh, that's nice. awesome. To Del yeah. Frisco's, right? Yeah. I heard you had a special friend that works there. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, Eaton was there. Oh. Jenny was there. Jenny. Jenny. Wow. Who the fuck's that, dude? <laughs> she works at Del Frisco. She's a very She's beautiful woman. You like her? We all like her. Yeah, we all like her. <laughs> yeah. She's an she actor. Came in, alone she there. came in here and mowed down the whole studio. Ooh, She's, done wow. some to- She's done some topless nudity. Did you shave your pubes for lunch? No, I didn't know we were Great going. call. Did you shave your pubes just in case? I didn't know I was going. Just to feel generally... Did you uh, try to jump sexy. her out? I felt good about myself in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm telling you, that girl's hot. Her, she has ears that can support a 1,200-foot glide. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she can free jump. <laughs> she just takes off a knitted cap. But, but I mean, she you going to let him talk yeah, about yeah, your just... bitch like that, dude? <laughs> Super hot no, shit. No. You're going to let him fucking trash your bitch on your V-Day? <laughs> <laughs> so your plan, you don't have any plans after this? No. I might come over to your house in Queens and stuff you, dude. <laughs> 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 uh, because Call that homophobic. It'd be, it'd be great to see Jacob on Monday, and you're like, "How you doing?" He's like, "Saturday was a nightmare." Yeah, it's not the day after the impact; it's the day after after the impact. That's when everything settles. That's, yeah, that's when some of the swelling goes down. The bruising really sets in. You know, certain. You know, some boxers die three days after their fight. That's how I felt. Concussion style. Oh man, let Shane come over and give you the gift of love. There's no way he's homophobic. My favorite photo is our. Uh, no way he's homophobic. 
Topic, thanks, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you know, comedy Central, what up? You sure you guys want to put me on air? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see the Comedy Central logo over your face. It's gonna be like one of those drug dealing shows. Birthday, how do you feel? Yeah. Do you want me to come over and stuff you? I'm gonna come over and stuff you, <laughs> Jacob. If you want your birthday present. <laughs> Everyone needs to see our pride photo again. That was my favorite, one of my favorite photos. Oh. Are you guys hugging? Yeah. Yeah, yeah somebody, I told you there's a girl in, uh, I met a girl in Fort Worth, Texas that <laughs> had it as her screen. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I love that it, someone looks at the time and it's you hugging Jacob. Yes. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. Every time. She was sweet. Damn. Um, yeah, I'm going. I have a fun. I'm going to Plano, Texas. This Thursday through Saturday at Hyenas. Yeah. Go to bigjcomedy.com for tickets. And the guy called me today. He did a, he did the, uh, hey man, he goes, coming down, picking you up from the airport tomorrow. It's cool. He goes, tickets, not good. But, you know, oh. I wonder why that is. But anyway, it's not a thing. I was like, because I was there a month and a half ago, like <laughs> so 20 funny. miles away. <laughs> why, what do you, uh, why do you think you're not selling tickets in the same market you were just in? <laughs> yeah, he competes with his own market, I feel like. It's really funny. Yeah, well, hopefully. I'm starting another radio show I did from thing, 7 to 9. Dude, I threw a Hail Mary on, hey, we could postpone this thing, you know, we could always postpone it. And then it was just like. <sighs> How excited did you get for a second? I believed it was going to happen. Yeah. I was like, go. hey, if it's financially not cool for you guys, he goes, no, 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 we're going to do good. There's like tickets and stuff. I go, <laughs> uh, well, don't sell, make me feel like shit about it and then tell me it's enough for me to go. One, uh, I was excited I was going to sleep tomorrow. One time it was like a rainstorm and I called. It was like during cafe season at the restaurant and mm -hmm. I called because I was like, usually they let people stay home and I was really hung over and I called and I was like, hey, I talked to the manager. Like, what's it look like today? He's like, the book is shit. And I was like, yeah, if you want, I can just like stay home. You know, I know it's like hard to cut people and he's like, no, you're my closer. And I was like, yeah, but, but you, who's not who's yeah. not a closer? In this I remember I was town. sitting on my tub smoking a cigarette, being like, yeah, but you can cut me. Yeah. And he was like, you're coming in. What, you hire like, a bunch of nards that don't know how to fucking close. <laughs> yeah, nards. you just open tables when the lunch when the dinner people get there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am going to play in Texas, but I did have a moment, yeah, where I was like, well, oh, now people going to be mellow, <laughs> and then I'm like, no, it's chaos. However. What it did save is if I was home, I couldn't think of a real reason to jump in the car and drive to Queens to get sandwiches and come back. The fact that I'm landing in Queens on Sunday does help. Is why we will all have tuna and I would have got them for you, Jason. Mm, maybe. They're a weird schedule. They close place. at four on Sundays, I think. Yeah, I'd but, probably but, miss that. But if they run out, yeah, exactly. I'll sleep in. R.I.P. Andrew. <laughs> you never got Andrew and Frank's. R.I.P. They're gone. They, the... Uh, block raised the rent. Oh, it must have been a fantastic sandwich place then. Thirty five years. Yeah. Well, that's not how long dare you. And they, how dare you? Tell it to Sal, that, Chris, and Charlie, the Sandwich Kings. You know what? I heard they got opiate money flowing through that place. I'm fine with that. I hope the whole thing's a laundering scam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Just make that tuna. What is in that goddamn tuna? It man? is unbelievable. It's the best tuna fish I've ever had in my life, ever. And it's, I know you're going to say tons of mayo, but lots of places do tons of mayo. This is something else. I don't want tuna with light mayo. Yeah, I think they use the oil tuna. That's who what was it over is. there. We had it last time. Someone was complaining. Who's complaining about the tuna? I think like it was you tuna. losing your job. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time we we had this exact meal. <laughs> you were getting fired. <laughs> Are you going to be sensory? Do you think you're going to be sensory triggered? I'm worried you're going to get sensory triggered. Yeah, you go. You just smell the wings mixed with the tuna. And you just start bucking. <laughs> like, Yo, you, <gasps> did you say that yesterday? You said, I hope Lauren Michaels calls that night and rehires you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey! Yeah. And you still can't pay attention. You got a hundred more phone calls. Or, you or pay. Lauren always knows the bet against the Eagles. <laughs> and then happened. He goes, "You guys want to see something funny? Watch this, Shane. What are you doing?" Oh, <laughs> just, uh, just watch the Eagles again. That yeah, was really, that was really go funny. Out, like, go Shane, outside right now. <laughs> see if I'm standing there. She I'm would not. pop. She would pop in and out, and I'd be like, <laughs> "One of them just pops in and goes, Bird's lost.'" He's like, "Yeah, yeah." He's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm yeah. "Sorry, I got yeah, to." Yeah, yeah. Mike Pence is calling me. Like somebody arguing with Andrew Yang. I didn't say it like that. I said it like this. It was a goddamn old timey accent. Yeah, Can somebody not fucking so understand? Different people. That. Arnold Schwarzenegger's son's calling me. I don't, I don't know. know why that is at all. <laughs> this is the fucking random celebrities that lands on. You go, Joan Crawford's stepson. What is that? Well, that's know. weird enough. I got Joan. Yeah, one of them. Really? Yeah. You're not far off on that guess. Hey, hey fucking Billy. One Bush? of her stepsons? No. Yeah, wait, come on, Jamal come Crawford. On, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, journeyman, NBA journeyman Jamal Crawford. <laughs> yeah, he hit me up. He was like, condolences, man. Yeah. He was married. I know what that he was, was like when I got Crawford. out of the paces. Joan Crawford was mommy dearest, man. Yeah. Beat up her kid. Choked her out. 
But in her defense, what the style, kid did get fat. What style of choke? Uh, a straight on. Uh, or, uh, it, or it, a, a Homer Simpson? If she knew anything about uh, MMA, uh, yeah. that's the last choke you get. You think, your arms do you out, think man. MMA what if she would have ended up uh, Joan Crawford with a fucking arm bar? Do you think MMA has made child abuse more efficient? <laughs> like there's oh, people, almost no, I definitely. think the kids know more. No, no, but I think like you know, a dad comes in, he's like, hey, dude, what are you fucking... <laughs> <You're> like, <"What?" laughs> there's be... I think more likely the kids, the dad goes to kick the kid's ass, and the next thing you know, he's in a gut in like a Americana. Oh. <laughs> ha! Oh! He's back oh, God! He's all right. His dad's just holding his arms. Yeah, he's bucking hips. He's like, Come on. on. He's like, all right, all right, yeah. you stay up. You stay <laughs> up tonight. <laughs> it's all the hip push. Yeah. yeah. Is like, hey, lock it in? What's up? What's up, yeah. man? Yeah. Dad? There's I, definitely dads doing that, though. There's definitely dads that take jujitsu and then come home and they're like, hey, come here. Yeah. Get, get oh, that's a fun... Sure. That's Have a, a couple of drinks, get your kid in a fucking Kimura. <laughs> that's kind of a fun dad if it's not... You know with, how we used to do wrestling moves? Yeah. Like, it was younger dad, brothers? Dad, TKO in the third, rear naked. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if dads are coming home doing Muay Thai. Yeah. Just grabbing them. <laughs> <laughs> all knees. All knees and bows. <laughs> Eight limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Kids just getting rocked. You're like, dude. I, you're like, oh, my home life? Well, I thought it was yeah. bad. <laughs> and then my dad started going to Tiger Schultz. That's how I got in the worst place, too. Goes, I started getting what teed up. a Jewish guy named Tiger? Yeah. He goes, hello, my name is Tiger, not Tiger. Yeah, it's Tiger Schultz. You come in, you learn some MMA. You learn some karate. You learn some jiu-jitsu, some jiu-jitsu. I'll tell you what, also what you learn, zoning laws. <laughs> Bruce Lee said, move like water, you must become the water. You got to become it, you do it, you take the night river. You go in, you lead into the seas. Because Next thing you know, it's eighty-five percent of the whole worth. When you finally reach the final level, we teach you the ultimate weapon: <laughs> guilt. And, that, and when you reach the fifth circle of guilt, you will achieve the glow. I will become the locust. <laughs> I will fly away out of your hand. <laughs> Jake, dude, we was... gotta go out tonight at least. Should we just go to Lava? You wanna get nuts? I'll come off the wagon, dude. Dude, go fucking crazy tonight, man. Get nuts. Hit a lounge. I want Maybe a, lady... a swanky lounge. I want a lady with a sparkler and a bottle to walk up to you tonight. Ooh. <laughs> you wanna go to a strip club? You wanna go to a strip club? Take oh, a like Come with me. I'll go to a strip club. Dude, I'm in a dark place, dude. I'll go to a strip club. I live at strip clubs. <laughs> they're going to walk in, they're going to go, Shane O'Man. Yeah, the best part, Shane gets dances to pitch weekend update segments. <laughs> you just get, you go, just hear me out. So here's what it would have been. It been. Oh, <laughs> I was really going to jump on this border wall thing. Yeah, and, you know, uh, I think oh, the bit was so going to You'd be like, surprised how many strippers don't watch Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I'll be honest, none of them. Yeah. I'm like, you ever hear of fucking... Dude, <laughs> I, dude uh, like Zach, Ami- Zach Amico's bachelor party, oh, that was so the funny. funniest so goddamn thing funny. she's ever... Uh, he goes... Uh, I didn't he, say this. No, Lewis, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Lewis goes, he goes, this is Shane Gillis, you know? He goes, Saturday Night Live? She's like, yeah. He goes, he's about to be the newest cast member on and, and Shane's like, ah, no, come on. And then I was like, yeah, he is. She goes, yeah, okay. She still kept like dancing. And he goes, it's Saturday Night Live. He's going to be on Saturday Night Live. And she goes, I don't watch that shit. <laughs> so she, dancing. And she was not saying it like yeah. Yeah. to be like a smart ass. She yeah, was yeah, like yeah. saying like, stop grilling me. I don't know. <laughs> she goes, yeah, all right. The show hasn't been the same since Farrell left. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped watching sketching and living color. I'm weighing all the weigh-ins. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Yeah, so who get married? <laughs> who get murdered? <laughs> what was the website you were going to go to today? Buddy, I went to it. So here's what I did. This was very fun. I looked up. I go, I wonder if I'm on any website of like people from Philly who have made it. Specifically comics. <laughs> uh, I'll tell what? you what I'll tell you what I found out. I'm not. What? Yeah. Pat House is on a couple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Pat House. And Pat House is hilarious. I, however, <laughs> Pat House came to see me before he thought of doing comedy. Yeah. Doing comedy. Um, no, but uh, yeah, I wasn't, but it wasn't even that. I, by the time I went to like the second list or something, I found a website called, uh, God damn it, something gigs, gig salad. Oh yeah, I know that. Do you really? I know gig salad. Buddy, what is it's it? It's so uncomfortable, yeah. but so funny. We don't have to say names. We don't have to say names when we look at this. I got some buddies we, on here. Yeah, you definitely do. I know people from when I started comedy on here. Buddies, oh, buddies on this. Te- but dude, it reviews comics for hiring them to be like corporate. Not even, dude. It could be like hosting like a crab fest or something. And whatever it is, like the reviews of that kind of stuff, they were like, he was punctual. He was, <laughs> dude, it was making me laugh so hard. Reading, you're like, oh. Go to and some of them have things like, never done comedy, but I'm funny as shit, yo. Give me a chance. <laughs> I swear to you. Entertainers. No, you got to go. Is this comedians. All, is, it all, is it all Philly? 
Is this website Philly, or you got to look at the place? I don't care. Let's just get no, into it. I'm telling you, Philly was really a funny one. But we can go anywhere. You're right. <laughs> go to comedians. Is that? I mean, there's a guy named Philadelphia <laughs> Phil. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Shane knows all these people. I know them all, dude. Everyone? You know Philadelphia Phil. I know. Come what about on, Phil? Bo- Shut the fuck up, dude. On, bro. You know Philadelphia Phil. Come on, bro. Stop saying come on, bro. And answer the goddamn <laughs> come on, questions. bro. He goes, this is all my guys. These are my guys. Oh, man, you really have to. No, you're yeah, not Woodside, New York. Just browse, browse all comedians. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Right there. Right at the Jerry bottom. Jerry Lewis impersonators. Yeah, dude, this is going to get great. Dude, it's. Oh, this is all New York. Yeah, see yeah, if you can do Philly. Philly. Yank your head out of your ass. All right. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hard. I'll tell you what, it would be, also, could be up there. It would be kind of fun to pick a just throw a dart at a city and oh. see what's available. Like I'll do Cincinnati, Aurora, Colorado. See what's in Denver. I'll probably those people. Yeah, Kronberg's probably all yeah. over that shit. He's probably got it locked. He learned how to juggle since yeah. you seen him last. This Magic. guy's got everything. <laughs> this guy's celebrity impersonators. So this is all awesome. in the streets of. Bring it the f on. Where is it? You know Philadelphia Phil? No, I don't. What I do not do? know Philadelphia Phil. What's he do? I don't know. You ever see that guy cry when the library closes in Philly? No. That's pretty sick. <laughs> is that Philadelphia Phil? <laughs> it's probably the same guy. Who is it? It's like, I grew up here. I live yeah, here. Here's the list I, I saw. play football here. These get good. <laughs> I just want to close the goddamn thing down. But wait, just the reviews are my favorite. Uh, I, I, I already know one more. Keep going down. I'm close friends with that guy on the left. Yeah. Middle chick. Nah, I think she might talk some shit on me. Not a big deal. But wait a second. Moody McCarthy's <laughs> no, on here. Is a, Moody McCarthy's on here as a top performer. I'm not even saying. I'm not shitting on the comics. Yeah, you are. I'm saying what you have to be. Jay left the city and thinks what? he's better than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> True says, that. He says, came to my church. Yo, Second Baptist. Philly down, funny, New York up. And captivated the audience. I just nice. love this. Like, he came to my church, Second Baptist in Patterson. He was funny and captivated the audience. It's just like the weirdest things you have to like. <laughs> It's uncomfortable, man. But it's so hilarious. About old Sid the Kid, bro. Where's that? Oh, damn. Bottom left, yeah. Is there any reviews? Yeah, there's a couple. Click the reviews. <laughs> family, family reunion. reunion. <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> family reunion, man. Dude, it's in. so uncomfortable. Sid's the man, dude. He'll do it. And then, by the way, the self... Uh, the bios. Brutal. Brutal on some of these <laughs> Funny things. Funny on time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. that here? Yeah. Did it say that? Funny and on time? <laughs> Funny, on time, quick wick, great roaster. Great roaster, <laughs> dude. Sid the kid. Uh, man, he gets good reviews, though. That's wow. Good job, dude. Get that money. Yeah, yeah. Sid's good. Keep, uh, keep going. No, we have to find... Go down this list. I'm telling I want to know you. about Philadelphia Phil. I'm still... You yeah. got a lot of questions about the guy. Keep going down, would you? I think Philadelphia Phil... Oh, my God. Senior program entertainment is often limited to sing-along songs and musicians. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy... Oh, man. This guy brings it. Oh, uh, I got another one. I know two of those. Oh, really? Yep. All right. Oh, That's... I mean, dude. Yeah, you know that one. Zero ratings. <laughs> He's one of the best urban-styled stand-up comics in New York. He drives Uber also. I, I know that. two more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Here. This is one of my faves. Oof. Yeah. That's Oof. one of my faves to, to look at Oof. the... Uh, I know, yeah. What a <sighs> jerk off this guy is. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want you to read the... Go to the bio. I make people laugh. No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. Just call him a jerk off. Don't I'm not reading stuff. a name. No name. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to get his credits. I don't care. I won't say the credits. I make people laugh, regardless of race, religion, gender, or age. Just a weird thing. I take my life experience and bring it to life on stage. Mm. That is a real knobby thing to write about yeah. yourself. If I had an overview of my act, i say I come into tissues and make art out of it. <laughs> That's and it? Just see who hired me. And then you go, but I'm still being hired for stand-up. <laughs> but I'm here to tell jokes. I'm just letting you know, oh, I thought this was like special... Uh, oh, no? I thought you were under special uh We don't do cum paper skills. machine? Wait, keep going. Are we not eating this cake? What are we doing here? We're going to get a knife. Oh, slice that bitch up. We'll take a break in a second, but just read a few more reviews in this one. Uh, Excellent entertainer, punctual and courteous. (laughs) Uh, Read the room and had the audience laughing. He was a great attribute to our... It's just such a weird thing to get reviews on. Like, what you do, what you wanted to do at a point on, like, the highest level. It sucks that you could just go... Had him at my beef and beer. Uh, he goes, farted kind of loud in the room at one point, made people uncomfortable, but overall seemed like a nice guy. Noisy eater. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Creeped out my cousin Sheila, but she sat at the same table with him, and she has a drinking problem. So I don't know who's in the wrong. <laughs> Breathe heavy much? Well, he was affordable. Can we do reviews on people? <laughs> Just start writing uh, came out on fire, worked the crowd. There's jokes reviews. were Jokes were definitely humorous. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. They were humorous. <laughs> <laughs> they were humorous. Yeah, this is a weird the jokes thing. achieve the goal of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> they do that on Yelp too, like running clubs when you go on, and people will start reviewing comedy on Yelp when it's like not really for that. That's what. No, that's exactly what comedy's for. That's why we've all gotten a comedy. And so a lady that's from Minnesota can come to a show at the cellar yeah. and then tell me what we'll be, I did wrong. More to be on a... But this site is like the fact that you have to be on a page where you're like, all right, we need a comedian. I need a juggler. I need somebody who shits fire. <laughs> and I, you know, it's like all some... Oh, so, what, in, what celebrity impersonators do they have? Do, they have? do they have anybody named Philadelphia Phil? Let's, uh, we're going to find Philadelphia Phil. You guys Phil. say his name three right times. Oh, shut the up, fuck dude. right up. Why don't you play your video, dude? Here's your best friend. He'll cut your fucking... He'll Here's come your best you, friend. Bro. Here's I your boy Philadelphia Phil. I guarantee this, this fucking slaps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. I thought she was a gypsy. Yeah, I thought she was a fucking gypsy. Yo. <laughs> your mom is a whore. <laughs> yeah. What's Phil. happened to Philly since I left? <laughs> yeah. Is this what's going on? Became bolder. You guys are going to pretend this isn't good. Well, I gotta hear the lyrics. I love desk rock. I thought she was a gypsy, Woo. but I couldn't really say. I asked her why. Say no more. I'm in. Sign if this is the Shit, I'll be honest with you. I'm hitting You want to make some propaganda? Let's get you in a truck listening to this song, buddy. I'm telling you what. <laughs> you're not gonna get. You're not gonna get cable TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's take our first break. We'll come right back. We want to go through more of the uh, gig salad. Uh, let's back. do some more gig salad. I want to get the marriage boot camp. Oh, we, yeah, yeah. Because we have the second we have episode. And we're going to start doing it on the Lost Tapes. Yeah, we're going to start doing a marriage boot camp on the that Lost Tapes. That way everyone tapes. can watch it. Yeah. We give you almost a full week to watch it. A full week to watch it and the uh, Because it's not top tier television. It's like when you've gone through your DVR box and you're like, and I got this left too. What? I mean, I don't think it's good. What? Well, what do you call... Yeah, that's crazy. It's mentally ill people in a house together. You're supposed to be entertained by it, though. Oh, I'm for sure entertained, but What's it's not What's much more good. entertaining about it? It's not good at I, all. I'm not saying it's good. It's a very I didn't bad say it's great show. drama. But Damn, but dude. You're you guys are getting entertainment. Heated. This is heated. It's a fucking shitty product, asshole. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what's Thank it you, after... Please. What's it going to be after... What, what do you watch over first? Uh, oh, 60... Over no, uh, I watch Always Sunny, South Park... Uh, gemstones, wrestling, all brands. <laughs> you should have stopped before wrestling, no. and we would have forgot that wrestling was going to take priority, which is going to make everything else you say after it fall to shit. I was going to say marriage boot First camp. First of all, I realize now how much you restrain yourself by not saying wrestling twice as number one and two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. AEW is number one. I, uh, I asked, I don't, I got to check my phone, but I asked Jericho if he wanted to pop in today because he's in New York, but he didn't get back to me. So They're doing a TV taping tonight. Is that what it is? Yeah, AEW is. Uh, okay. They're in Philly. Oh, in Philly. Okay, Tonight. so he was, up, he was up here doing like a Westwood One or something. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, they're uh, they're front. they're in Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia tonight. Sold out. Know. Well, I should have asked you his schedule before I checked with him. I uh, should have. Yeah, you well, I look like an idiot. This is your number one and two show. Yeah, instead you came off looking like a fucking idiot. Like you don't care about what he does. I don't give a shit. Dude. He's the pain maker tonight. <laughs> I hope he never takes my call. He's gonna break. Oh, yeah. He's gonna break the walls on you, dude. Oh, but dude, if he got Jay, what if he hit bring Jay with a code breaker? Down. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's an old man. I'd fuck his shit up. <laughs> you think you could take Jericho? Dude, Jericho would fuck dude, your shit up. You couldn't get past Collinsworth. Dude, Chris Collinsworth, Collinsworth is still punked. I forgot ass, about dude. last season. I'll he beat up in Collinsworth, and, and, then Collinsworth I'll use Collins, and then I'll use Collinsworth to knock out fucking Jericho. You know what? <laughs> like I would almost say, four. I would say, For you sure. better hope Boomer Esiason doesn't show up. I mean, that's not even a debate. Yeah. Would Here's the, the problem: is he while he's doing, while Chris Jericho's doing whatever he's doing to me, I'm going to be real fighting, not fake fighting, dude. Jer look at Jericho. All right, you, you think you you're going to beat me? And he's whispering in my ear, like, "Jump into the suplex," and I'm going to be like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm going to dead weight him, and then I'm going to fucking pull his pants down, Wait, like you're going, like he's trying to take you on the monorail. Yeah, I'm going to go on a monorail on the rain. I'm just dead weight." <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, let's take a break. We're going to come back with Shane Gillis. It's the bonfire. In the bonfire. Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Yeah. I'm Big Jokerson. That's Dan Soder hanging out with us. Shane Gillis. 
It's giving me dealer hands. I'm showing, me- him what, I'm showing what I'm about, dude. Yeah. Look at that slice of cake. Shane Gill's going to be at Helium in Philadelphia, oh October 24th through the 26th. Get tickets at heliumcomedy.com. How was the one out in... Uh, out in Indy? It was yeah. great, dude. Yeah? Yeah, my, my fan base is fucking wild. <laughs> what do they do? Uh, Riot actually, the streets? a ton of bonfire. Riot in the bonfire. streets? Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. I want to get out to Indianapolis, Dave. We're doing it in December. Do it. Yeah. It's a, it's a great club. Oh. I'm just waiting for them to book me. Wow. Oh. I don't know. I'll tell you where you are booked right now, my fantasy. Goddamn right, the way I'm working that strawberry. <laughs> God damn. Big J's going to be it's at just Hyena. a little sticky whipped cream. Uh, 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 but me eating it like this? <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm Chevy Chase in vacation? Yeah, Oh, yeah, air eating. Um, oh. air, air eating is the severest form of horny. <laughs> is this your air mm. eating? You're like, mm. uh, Big J is going to be at Hyenas in Plano, Texas. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, get it's it. official. I'm going. He's coming. He's locked in. Hyenas Thursday through Saturday. That's the 17th through the 19th. And then at Yuck Yucks in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, October 25th and the 26th. Go get tickets at bigjcomedy.com where you can also get tickets for Tuesday night. The worst. It's happening at the stand. Big J hosting a lineup of Sean Patton, Kareem Green, and Jessica Kirsten telling their worst stories, or stories of the worst things. Oh, hey, Christine, <laughs> do me a favor. Would you mind throwing me one that doesn't have your fucking hair in it? Oh, ew. Oh, what a bum ew. out. Oh, it's such a longie. Oh, you are a garbage hunk of shit. Everyone Shane. knows it now, and now everyone knows it. Shane. <laughs> Shane, do you want to give Jacob a present? Jacob, come here, boy. Stuff him. Stuff him, dude. Come here, boy. Let him feed you strawberry. Come here, boy. Feed him the strawberry. Here, boy. It's a sensual birthday. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Take it. Yeah, there you go. Shh, take it good. Hey, guys. <laughs> take it, Jacob. Take come it on, good, boy. Dude, come on. Oh. Oh. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> ew, dude. This fucking Did breath you? was on my hand. Yeah. It I was, was, under, I was, it was under horny your... breath. <laughs> <laughs> ew, Jacob. <laughs> You're fucking 49, dude. Start acting like it. You can't get all, can't get horny when people give you strawberries. I don't think a love like that could be real. Yeah. Are you getting me a hairless piece? Ew. Did you make a goddamn adult? Oh, my yeah, God. Oh, was my punishment is I get a tiny Holy little piece shit. now? <laughs> now my punishment is I get a tiny piece and no strawberry? Please. <laughs> oh bring, Jacob, give both of those immediately back to her, and you give me a fucking respectful piece of give cake. A big of old, big old fat hunk like the first one give me that without one. your hair. You don't want to eat her hair cake. It's not how much hair is in it. I don't. Who Christ only knows now. I pulled out two big, long pieces of it so far. Yeah. How the hell did it get in there? What, are you angry at me? <laughs> what is this? I have no knife. <laughs> I'm looking at that. Who's that for? That can't be that's for the mine. birthday boy. That's that's a hunk. That's a bad so, one. That pile of shit. That's a bad one. I'll be over here fucking myself if anyone needs me. Can I watch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you getting there? Oh, you know that I looks like the best slice. Yeah. I told you I watched that show Love After Lockup. Uh, Damn. Yeah. It's on before. Marriage, did you watch it? Yeah, I love it's it. It's also on the Wii Network. I was enjoying it very much, and the girl, Lacey, yeah. who's, on, who's the one who looks like the, uh, thank you, buddy, the one who looks like an internet model of some sort. Yeah, almost. You know what I'm talking about? The blonde. Yeah, yeah. She's got thing. She has done porn, and there's a whole bunch. She's like a cam girl more, but she's done porn, mm-hmm. like cam girl porn, and it's just her. She is. It's great. And still, for whatever reason, when you see him on like a regular TV show, you're like, oh, you never thought you were going to get a real TV show. Yeah, you did wear a cam. That's going to go back, and everyone, everyone's <laughs> going to know. Everyone's going to know about your fucking like, you slutty on, past. You want to go on Gig Salad? For yeah. A little- where do you yeah, want? Do you want to pick a random city? Should we just throw a dart at a city? I mean, I really feel like we need to pick a mid market. I think so too. Like Sioux Falls, <laughs> love to see what's going on in South Dakota. What do you think's going on over there? I wouldn't mind checking out like a, a nice Gary, Indiana. The worst. Ooh. What does it say? The most miserable place to live, Christine? Mm-hmm. I drove through it. Yeah, I just I was just around there. That, that is, it's just a bunch of sheds. <laughs> Yeah, for real. There. Total flat, just sheds everywhere. Just kids getting the shit beat out of them in those <laughs> yeah. sheds. And then oh, learn how to dance. You could have stopped. You could have stopped and done something to help. Maybe you chose not to, and I appreciate that about you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Shane to get in the way of the next king of pop? Yeah. Hey Jacob, can you hand me a fork, dude? Instead of just fucking around. <laughs> Thank you. Instead of just dicking around. Happy birthday, Jacob. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. I'm sorry, you're catching so much hairy cough. cake. I for one enjoyed the hair cake. I thought it strawberry gave it a banana texture. and hair. I thought it gave it a texture of it sure uh, did of 
fiber. It's Christine's Armenian flavor. It is. It packs a punch. It was hey, like who serves, they, hey, who served this cake? Check for hair. No. Yeah. It's like, when, remember when they started baking uh, string cheese into the crust at Pizza Hut? Oh, man. Yeah. So like you're telling me. I loved it. Do you think I ever forgot that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I don't live, relive that wow, every morning? you just brought up stuff crust? <laughs> I love stuff crust. I'm going to fucking <laughs> stuff Jacob's. <laughs> <laughs> I, said that, I was like, oh, Jacob, you're about to get one. Oh, stuff Jacob's crust. Yeah. See, the problem was stuff crust. That's where, that's where you lay on your side, Jacob. And then you There's a whole problem a with stuff crust. Thick tube of cheese in you. <laughs> the problem with stuff crust was crust was great. Pizza sucked. Pizza sucked. That it's was the problem. Yeah, and then, the crust. Or you can get a great Pizza Hut pizza with the regular old crust. Yeah. It, I mean. Which is great. Which is great. <laughs> I feel they should have just sold stuff crust as like a side. Man, have you been to a Pizza Hut lately? They no. do. They're called mozzarella Oof. sticks, Dan. That oh, is yeah. already happening. Is yeah, it? Dan, you fucking idiot. Why don't they just serve <laughs> stuffed crust only? You mean mozzarella sticks? Those are mozzarella sticks. Boom. Those are, it's pizza crust with cheese in the middle. You're talking cheesy bread, bro. Cheesy bread. Now you're talking cheesy bread. That's but the cheese. cheese is on the top. I think Dan's onto something. I'm saying just... Just a ring of crust. <laughs> love it. Dan's ring of crust. You know what? I'm leaving it all behind. I'm I think it's called a cheese-stuffed pretzel. Dan's cheese sons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sell cheese sons. It's going to be great. You guys are going to all remember the day you laughed at old, at the cheese king. I didn't laugh. I support it. You're right. Where's, Where's Christine? Shaving her head stay, and crying in a mirror? Stay in my guest home on the on the cheese son property. We can't look at Giggs Hell <laughs> without Christine. We can't. She's out in the hallway there. punching the wall because of your because of the hair cake. <laughs> so am I. She's like, she's got there. She's I'm getting, emotionally punching the wall because of the hair bloody cake. Bloody knuckles. She goes, "Has your fucking hair? I got hair. There's fucking hair in there." What's up with these brown bananas in the middle of this thing? They're bananas. Ew. <laughs> Why the fuck are they moldy? Uh, They're not moldy, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're saying crazy shit. <laughs> You thought hair was your biggest problem. Yeah. I hope people don't act like this in Plano. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have a four-day peaceful trip and not this just shit raining down on me. Hairy food. Let's go to Gig Salad. Take while, us to While it, Christine Blue. ices her knuckles <laughs> in the common area. She goes, you did it again, Evans. In the common room? She's in the <laughs> confessional right now? She goes, I don't know. I know he loves me, but got, like, shit. She's got her hand in wet buckets. <laughs> the guys from Shade 45 walk in. They go, oh, man, do you guys have food in the studio again? She goes, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a decade, but I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> Christine, I love you. Oh, I'm sorry that you fed me ha- hairy cake. What a great way to work through that. I apologize. I, I apologize for what you've done to me, and I forgive you for it. Yes, and I am also sorry that you put me in a position where I have to treat you that way. Jay. In front of our new friends, who look like very buttoned-down, sophisticated people. Yeah. And they are not used to people like us, garbage people, who are eating a pile of cake. Look at yourself. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. I tell them you're hot. Damn, dude. Work it, girl. Work it. I tell my friends you're sexy. Could you please stop face fucking that cake like you're trying to win a contest? <laughs> Does yours have hair? Yours has hair, I trust. Uh, oh, Do you want to go man. to a different city? Let's no, go. I want to right now look at what Gordon Douglas's fun and faith is. I bet that's great. Well, he gave. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. You asked uh, for it. I don't know, but this is this seems like exactly. I'll be what, honest with you. This seems like what created the joke. I'll tell you what. You don't know him. And you're not going to come across him. This one That's is what a I safe bet. <laughs> that is what you thought. But you thought it was people who were much until, more likely for you to cross paths yeah. with. Yeah. That's what I thought. If you ever booked at a church, which is look both ways. I'm headed back down. Yeah. <laughs> back down the ladder. I might need this guy. Our congregation, we need to work on forgiveness. And that's one, why our comedian's here today. I did one church what? with Kevin Hart. Yeah? It was awful. How bad? They were not into me. What, did Kev, did Kev I Kev? only had dirty stuff. Did they like I couldn't Lil even Kev? default and talk to the crowd, huh? Did they like Lil Kev the Bastard? Of course, dude. Of course they did. <laughs> they like Lil Kev the Bastard? He came out to music. He he found a way to make it happen, yeah, for sure. He was dirty, too, but he found a way to make it. Yeah. Like... I want to hear comedian Gordon Douglas, please. We are here in the great state of Pennsylvania. I know you know that. I'm great state. To myself of it. Um, <laughs> the motherfucking <laughs> Commonwealth. <laughs> Woo! Um, lives about an hour from here, and when he found out I was going to be in town, he drove over, and he's here tonight. Now, it's not my fault she called him a comedy legend. You don't know this man. This guy's going to 
bury you, dude. Yeah, I, I bet so. you better never let him do a guest set in front of you when you're in the Pens- in the state of Pennsylvania. When we do the show, the three of us, I feel like you guys are two brothers, and I'm the guy <laughs> fucking your mom, and you just try to fucking harass me or something. You come home. I don't like. The we'll way- fight you, Jay. <laughs> you <know. laughs> we'll fight you, dude. I got I got my brothers home from my dad's house now. I'm doing commercial reads, and I see you guys like tapping each other on the tits back and forth. No, he did a couple of I was showing him. He did an excited dog. That's what made me laugh. Just kiss already. I would love to. You don't think cameras. me and Dan have fucking kissed? I do think you have. <laughs> me and Dan have kissed and I'm sucked. I'm certain of it. In the morning. <laughs> as the dew settles on the grass. Oh, real tongue slap? Dan yeah. saw my yeah, penis. Yeah, yeah. I showed Dan so, my penis. I believe that. That is a, actually a true thing. I do. I he, believe you, but Dan doesn't like that. Dan doesn't play the gay jokes that much. That, that, it's not a gay joke. It I wasn't was a gay joke. There, Shane didn't know that his dick was just hanging out. You That's didn't know? That's what made it really funny. Well, we would share hotel rooms, and I like to sleep naked. <laughs> you still do it? Shane, yeah. What? You sleep naked in the room with yeah. Dan? Bro, just get under the covers. <laughs> he does. He gets under the covers and peels That's off. That's not true. Yeah, 100% true. You slept on the floor of my hotel room once. Did you sleep naked? Did I sleep on the floor? That must have been a rough night. No, you don't remember that? Was that in Tampa? Yeah. No, I would have. We made you like a bed on the, with all the, like, we got like f- five sets of sheets, remember? We make a floor bed. Ah. You don't remember that? I don't think I remember that. That's uncomfortable. You lost the key for the condo. I think I was black. It sound, oh, yeah, it sounds like I was pretty blacked out. I didn't know. You came back. We had a lovely conversation. Really? Yeah. Well, what, you, what you didn't know was that you, you, was, you promised me a lot that night. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you my bank code. I'm you, surprised what you didn't I didn't know, get naked. He yeah. was buck naked. He was not naked. No, not probably. Not in my, no, he was fully clothed, actually. No, uh, no. Yeah, I well. must have been hammered because I would have at least gone just undies. Maybe you went to undies. And yeah. then, and I'll, I'm knowing Shane, being on the road with him, if he's down to undies, good luck, Chuck. That thing's you? coming off. Really? Yeah. He would get into a hotel room and he'd get so excited. Why do you not demand <laughs> that the person in the room with you doesn't sleep naked? Because we're it pals. Was hilarious. We're pals and we get naked. Dude, the way Shane does it, it's so goddamn funny. He got so excited and crawls in and he takes his underwear off and he just comes up and, and I like, kick my feet. I it's kick my feet. What guys do? It's hilarious. <laughs> He's but when it. the joke's it's over and everything has died down, yeah, it's, you got to put that. <laughs> That's why he got up. He got up with a towel one time and he didn't know his dick was showing. He's like, all right, I'm going to take a shower. And he's just talking to me. And I was like, your dick's just hanging out. <laughs> he literally was like, your penis is out. <laughs> like, it, wasn't, it wasn't a funny thing. It was, but what, There's what? one thing I'm always certain of if it's the case. That my dick is out. Yeah. My dick's never just well, been oh, out. That's why. Because I was holding the towel in front of me like a fucking matador. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I was naked behind it. And I was like, fucking with Dan. But the bottom of the towel was still on the bed. So I was just holding up. <laughs> My lower half was just out. Take me back to the decision of sleeping naked the entire night next to a buddy. No, we're not next to you. He's in a, another Two bed. bed. Yeah, Two we're beds. not in the same bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it's less weird if there's five feet between you. <laughs> not enough room <laughs> for an less. adult to do a yeah. sit-up. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely not. I probably could have planked easily over to his bed. Yeah, I did. I could have ro- rolled over onto his bed. You don't think I'd plank at night? <laughs> Once I know old Dan's asleep, yeah, I play some <laughs> games. Beds, I play yeah. some weird games. <laughs> yeah. I'm a deep I would, sleeper. I, I, there's not uh, anybody that I can go on the road with. Justin, you had Justin and Lewis bone you up on yeah, the shower. You had jerked off a guy. I never jerked off a guy. <laughs> you never jerked off a guy? Never. Did they jerk off each other then? Who? <laughs> somebody jerked off. I know there's a story of somebody jerking Lewis off. Lewis and Justin. Lewis and Justin each other off. Over. No. They <laughs> waited for me. I went to the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, while I was in the bathroom taking a shit. Yeah. Which was, you know, it's a process always. I look at the phone. I do whatever. It'd be 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> um... No, it wasn't even anywhere near there. But even if it was like 20, which is still more... As soon as I went in there, they were like... uh, They were like, hey, wouldn't it be funny when Jay comes out if we're both lying on the same bed with our dicks out? And then they did that for like five minutes or so, and I didn't come out of the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) And then they go, wouldn't it actually be funnier if we... It would be funny if you came out and we both had raging boners. I I think this is Justin's plan. Justin's idea was... Justin was the mastermind of Lewis. From what I I remember, Lewis told the story, and you know what, dude? And he said, Justin engineered the... Wish me hard. Yeah, yeah. He does say that Justin did engineer that part. And then uh, I think Justin was able to get a rager. Lewis (laughs) maybe did. (laughs) 
<laughs> no. Maybe he did. I don't know. I don't remember. Touch all. mine for strength. All I remember is the worst thing that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> Take some of my power. <laughs> if you give one pump, you get a little pump. Yeah. It's like, uh-huh. hot, it's like uh-huh. a hot spot my dick. <laughs> <laughs> touch it. Let's just touch helmets. <laughs> See if it pumps you up. So when you came out of the bathroom, neither so, one of them. I think one of them, one of them, or both of them were hard. But whatever it was, they were looking. Whatever all this plan was, looking to have the result be for me. I'm just the wrong guy. I just didn't do it. If you're looking for me to get like upset or anything, it's not going to happen. And like, I'm going to laugh as much as oh. like I was like, ah, just like kept going out to smoke yeah. a cigarette or something. And they were like, well, wow, that they just did. 20, 30 minutes of gay activity to make a joke that didn't land hard. But they're just sitting there, they're just sitting there side kissing, and you walk by, and, and then just for a little, just, just to go like this. Yeah, you say goodbye. <laughs> no, man, I'm not gay. Oh, I would have okay? been pissed, dude. I would have jumped do. on that bed, started wailing on it. <laughs> I would have come out of there fucking sprinting like the warrior, dude. <laughs> just jumped on that bed. Fucking you and then put imagine, those dicks away. And then imagine... <laughs> those dicks out of here. Imagine their confusion hours later when you snuggle up naked next to them <laughs> under the covers. <laughs> They're going to be like, you're sending a lot of missed messages, Shane Gillis. When you take your undies off and fling them around. Me undies. Me undies. Me love I'm not going to let you criticize this. What? You better, I'm going to come back on the road with you and... And sleep naked? Get a little naked. <laughs> You're we'll not going to know, bro. We'll have a thing. No, you why? Fight? Would you attack him when he was naked? No. It's not homo. It's just a weird thing for no reason. You know what? I probably would just accept it. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The person I'd probably just accept thing. it. But I'd find it odd that you'd want to. <laughs> no, it's... Here's the th- By the second time... You were like, this is hilarious, because he would get excited. He'd be like, I'm going to take a nap. And then he'd like, get down to his underwear, and then he'd go under the sheets and kick his feet, and then he'd just take you his underwear You get naked off. for a nap, and dude? And then I'd say, I'd say, Dan, I'm naked. Yeah. Say, I'd be Dan, playing I'm Xbox. Naked under we, here. I brought the Xbox. I'm like, shut up. No, wait. You guys skip. You get naked for naps. I don't get naked for naps. He gets naked for naps. Naps. I'm, yes. You dude. drop down. You peel down to... Fucking yes. your little your baby boy ass. Yes. Ah, for a nap. He does have a baby boy. I, do butt. A I know. I saw that ass. Yeah. You saw my ass. I saw your little booty in your video. You showed. Oh, we me. farted. Yeah, yeah. Your fart video. What You're laying on your stomach, <laughs> and you fart bare butted. <laughs> Are you yeah, always yeah, blacked yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, I've been drinking. Are you <laughs> drinking right now? <laughs> Told you guys, it's been a rough month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he starts puking. He's like, <laughs> what? Are you blacked out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Oh. I'm here now. <laughs> that wasn't a fart, t- dude. That was my sex tape. Yeah, that was me and baby girl. I did, oh. put out a sex tape. Hold on, I want to go back to Shane just randomly like hobo throwing up. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> I don't. You, you said that. At- <laughs> <laughs> He's just in the middle of a sentence. He goes, "Yeah, man, I think it was in dick." <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Where's Gloria? Uh, Where's Gloria? Gloria? Oh, man. Should we get back to this comedic legend? Yeah, let's watch the legend real quick. Then we got to take another break. This show's flying by. And if you would be so kind to grace you with about 10 minutes of his incredible stand-up, would you welcome to the stage Pennsylvania's own Gordon Douglas. Look at that fringe work. Pennsylvania's own, baby. P.A. Yeah. Hot to try. Dude. I'm rooting for him. That's a low Sky, ass. He's coming in. I bet he fills out the front. It's a long uh, torso. He did for those who haven't heard our program, is uh, my wife and I were named Parents of the Year last year for the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Give it for the ladies now. Fine ass bitches out here. I see. He goes, oh, I see them titties, goes, girl. You know, church titties different than street titties. <laughs> <laughs> Church titties be all like, I pray oh, to Jesus. Oh, I love them street titties all be like, plaggy. Yeah. She goes, Splagging. He goes, I got a pen that's about to write a letter to the Corinthians. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Is your boy Gordy Doug. Uh, boner 316. <laughs> More like Boner 7.5, am I right? <laughs> Don't forget to, don't forget to give to the church. <laughs> There's some plates coming around now and, uh, <laughs> We have 19 kids. Whoa. Recently, I was at Shady Maple. I did a program for 500 Amish dairy farmers. <laughs> yeah, that's more noise than they made in an hour. Now, what? Killing. Uh, what people need to start Killing doing. Killing structure. What, 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 what would be hilarious is if comics like us, like, went to like and started making like angry woke about the benign things they do mm-hmm. it goes why you go with the amish why why like you go you go the, like, they don't have technology it's like what so 
It's not their fault. What are you attacking them for? Because that's what they believe? It's like, huh? <laughs> Go back to how benign that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. You can if you wanted to just make it like a, what the fuck's that, dude? Take a yeah, shot yeah, at the yeah. I did a show for the Amish. Were they nice to you? Why are you saying things about did them the now? Did you check we have 19 kids. We have 19 kids. Recently, I was at Shady Maple. I did a program for 500 Amish dairy farmers. <laughs> yeah, that's more noise than they made in an hour. Damn. They They're joyless, have... laughless, neck beard pieces of shit, the Amish, yes. is what he's trying to Anyways, say. Anyways, back to me connecting with the my Amish. wife's <laughs> ovaries every time we shake hands. Oh, condoms. What am I, gay? He goes, I Plap. almost... Plap. He goes, Plap. I have Busted eight. inside all the time. He goes, I, I got a full basketball five. team. 19 kids? Yeah, yeah, he's got to make some cuts. Yeah. <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he, goes, he goes, I have to let you go. Oh, you know Gordon Douglas always go RD. Yeah. Raw like dog. Family, dude. Plap. 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 Scroll down. You're getting RD'd. Learning from his comedy heroes, Bill Cosby. And Red Skelton. <laughs> no, and Red yes. Skelton learning from his comedy heroes. That's great. <laughs> you go, oh, no, 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 no. Take it on your website. <laughs> oh, shit. It does say they have five natural children and have opened their hearts and home to a whole lot more. Wow. Well, you think so this is, a, is this the family that children. fucking uh, has the kids in the basement? Westboro. Will you scroll no. down a little? I want to see the whole gang. Is that 19 kids? Damn. Damn. It's tough to adopt a oh, strictly I didn't know he was my whites. Dad. He's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> you actually got to go out of your way to adopt that many whites. You go, in 2009, <laughs> you go, Gordon was awarded the Aryan Nation Open Door Award. <laughs> That's expensive. It's That's for ex- only letting... That's an expensive uh, adoption right there. This kid was the clearance rack. This is but the rest of them. Oh, oh and this kid oh. here also. This kid was. Uh, they got him at the Marshalls Orphanage. Yeah. Oh, he's at the, yeah, the outlet store. That's an outlet kid. Yeah, it was already picked over the whole orphanage. That's, that kid was still hanging around. That's there. the adoption version of when Floyd Mayweather shows his garage. And all these <laughs> cars are in it. You know, he's like, "It's how baller I am. I got fucking Yo, I got twelve a, white kids. Got a couple of gingers. Yeah, a goes, blonde or two in there. He goes, you want to see strawberry blonde and Regular blonde. I think the one in the back's got some sort of Arab in him, but I haven't done. I haven't really thumbed through all the paperwork. Yet. <laughs> top, top right, did he adopt a Stone name? Cold Steve Austin? Wow, he did adopt Stone Cold. An old lady. He goes, and a I man. Got, he goes, I got the best damn adopted dad in the planet. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. If you like spending time with your adopted brothers and sisters, give me a hell yeah. Dude, how much do these kids have to pretend that their dad's funny? We go, why? Oh, a lot. Just to eat. They got the grape drink, though. They got look, the purple drink. Look at that. That picture is every kid, over three kid household thing. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. It just comes standard. And nothing in there but powder and water. <laughs> yeah, it's just crystal light if you're lucky. A whole family eating out of plastic cups and a, just a, a bowl of eggs or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> He's got an army going. I don't know if this is breakfast I like or that. what. I like the shaved head, the, the chubby boy. Stone Cold? He's now the young boy. I think oh, he's yeah. that I thick think, little boy. Damn. Right here. I think he's a <laughs> That's a go. He Shane, hangs out Shane? exclusively with the nan and the Shane, weird uncle. Shane, Shane, I think he's a little different, that kid. Yeah. I, think I think he's a little, he's a little different. Too. That's why I like him the most. Imagine if the, imagine if the kid from Up had a real bad head oh, injury. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at who he's sitting in between. He's sitting between nan and that weird guy. Yeah, the weird guy. Yeah, like, that's what? how that, a uh, young fat kid just rolls Why that is way. nan wearing glasses? Hanging out with fucking weirdos. It's so awesome. Nan's wearing a... Nana's wearing the fucking uh, Doc Brown future glasses from the Old West. <laughs> yeah. It's like fucking all kinds of levers. It's like, bloop, 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 bloop. That's a big family. All right, go back to his comedy. I'm going to find what else this offensive piece of shit's willing to say. Well, they introduced me as the father of 19 kids. One, one of the farmers yelled, rookie! <laughs> <laughs> now he looks dumb, Jay. They did laugh. That guy's killing. Home, but it was amazing. I didn't sell one DVD that night. <laughs> He's the Amish kid. He's like taking it to the Amish, dude. <laughs> I mean, he really, he does not pull any punches. Finally, with somebody with the balls, too, I'd Finally. say. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> don't, dude, just him out in Dutch country getting evil glances. Don't Should, fucking, whatever, you, don't make your routing go through Lancaster, dude. Yeah, he's yeah. basically, this is like when, uh, this is like when Snoop claimed Crips in the early 90s. <laughs> That's right. This guy is siding hard against the Amish. You should write an article for Slate. <laughs> Send it. 
what I've yeah, learned fuck this guy. watching hate the monger. seething underground of fucking Amish people that came what's from worse is, <laughs> Gordon Douglas. What's worse is after watching his hate slinging against the Amish, I found a website where apparently he's adopted Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> and my Nana. The Amish that I know seem to be very lovely people, and I don't get what this is about. A rum spring is one thing, but this is different. Yeah, you dairy, so on. if dairy farming's so funny, then why don't you not drink milk? Yeah, hilarious. You ever think about that? How you need calcium? Did you guys know it's weird to drink milk? What? Yeah. I can, I've been getting ridiculed. Every time I go home, I fucking crush milk. I love milk. And people like criticize me for it. Jay, I like milk. It's a weird drink. It is Dan, a weird drink. Dan, Dan, I like it. I love milk, though. But like with cake and sweets. Sure. I'll eat it with dinner, dude. Well, sure. But Dan also eats it with like really? chicken and mushroom sauce. That's how you get jacked. He's not. Oh. He's not listening. Yeah, I'm sorry. You eat it with chicken and mushroom sauce. I think yeah, you eat with everything. Fair or like. Yeah. No, that's weird. No, it's not weird. No, milk is your wash down on a dinner. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking weird. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, a little bit of milk, a <laughs> <some bread, laughs> little bit of gravy. Oh, Come on, now. I would even do some diced carrots. Yo, you want to do that tonight? Oh, sliced succotash and milk. Oh, I love it. <laughs> some you know, lima I like, beans. I don't. I don't mind a good. Yeah, like a a, a solid pork chop with applesauce. Mashed potatoes and a glass of fucking milk, and dude. A big tall glass of milk, cold milk. Can I get more milk, please? <laughs> Can that I get all... more fucking milk, <laughs> mom? <laughs> you bitch, give me more fucking milk. <laughs> dude, when I spent the night at Jason Boyle's house when I was a kid, I would down the glass of milk in those little plastic things, and I'd be like, "Can I have another glass of milk?" And his mom was like, "No." Oh, <laughs> and I was like. Oh. I'm trying to piece it together, and I forget that you guys are both, like, you know, rural hillbilly <laughs> kids who grew up in that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You throw, like, you, like, huck rocks at a train and <laughs> that kind fun. of shit. That's fun. You yeah, yeah, throw yeah. rocks. Uh, at a train? There was no train going through my neighborhood. I lived around people and, and ethnics. <laughs> we would launch uh, we'd launch, oh. GI, we'd launch G.I. Joes onto busy streets. There you go. Probably learn how to make your own parachutes out of bags or we something. Would, uh, yeah, that's a lot of we fun. We would beat up the kids who talked weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you were about an hour outside of Philly. <laughs> You're still about an hour outside yeah. of Philly. Fueled by strong ass bones. <laughs> yeah. Just dense fucking bones ripping through town. <laughs> yeah, just keep coming. Dude, I'm like animanium. I'm filled with it. <laughs> just your pure calcium deposit. Uh, all I am is I'm just a giant calcium. <laughs> you can't bend your arm. <laughs> yeah, I go. When I break my I go, ah! You just break through calcium that was, plaque. That was like the first medical scare I ever had in my life. Like, I was watching. This Somebody was like, is milk good or bad for you? And I was like, ooh, it better be good. Because <laughs> I've been crushing it. I've lo- I, mean, I, I, was probably, kid, I would though, say I average two glasses of milk at dinner every night. Yep. When I was, yep. That's just it's not that's crazy. buffoonish, dude. It's not crazy. It's not. My mom and I lived, just her and I, we'd go through two gallons of milk probably every seven to eight days. God, you were a sad family. No, we weren't. Dude, we were. wait till you see Trish. I'm going to have her Terry Tate you. I'm not going to let her know that she's in the office. She's going to lay you out. No, you just drink a glass of milk and stare at it while your mom was sleeping with your dad's buddy. <laughs> yeah, my best friend and my, and my godfather. And your godfather. Yeah, he double dipped. If they had milk, that family would be better. <laughs> that shitty family we're looking at. Instead of that fucking yeah, I think it's weird to drink like tea. fucking purple drink. Or fucking whatever these guys are drinking, like soda at dinner. That's soda. Crazy. With, soda to me, if it wasn't a barbecue, it was weird at dinner. Yeah, that's white trash shit. Yeah. Soda with if dinner's you had, weird. Like yes. If you had like a two liter of soda on the table, it was kind of garbage. Yeah, it is garbage. You should have instead a glass of fucking milk. Yeah, get some two percent. I'm telling you, bro. I bet Dan likes his milk too, like ice cold, cold. In, a, in a glass pitcher. <laughs> Not a pitcher, but if I had a mug of milk, get out of here. A mug of milk. <laughs> <laughs> What are you dipping your chicken tenders in? Oh, uh, no, but I would wash them down with it. You shouldn't do that. Oh, the flavor of like t- mouth mouth remnants of chicken and fucking milk, dude. I think I'm gonna. You're get wrong. Milk. I'm getting milk after this. I'm so excited. I'm to gonna drink sit, milk. We're gonna sit down and have milk. I want you to have milk and so, a bucket I'm of chicken. To, I'm going to fucking. I want you a bucket of KFC and a glass of milk. I would oh, easily do that. That sounds great. That I'm does gonna, sound I'm right. gonna go to fucking Chipotle <laughs> after this and say, "Do you guys have any fucking milk they back don't. there?" That's they crazy. don't. They don't. They don't have any milk. Suck down a burrito and milk. They don't have any milk. That's crazy. <laughs> they definitely don't have milk. Milk is an at I bet home. They have milk. I bet they don't have milk. Right I bet now. they have milk. B Rod, go see if you can get a glass of milk kids, from a thing. Kids from, meal. Uh, Wait, the kitchen. Chipotle. Kids meal. No, no, no. Chipotle. If Chipotle was a glass they of might, milk, they might have it at the soda fountain. To be I want, honest, I want no, chocolate. You don't have to go. <laughs> I want chocolate milk now. <clears throat> chocolate you know milk's like, different thing. No. Jay wanted chocolate milk the other day at a diner for breakfast. <laughs> great. When you're supposed to have chocolate milk. By the way, eggs and eggs and chocolate milk. Great. Really. 
Yeah. That was when I was a kid. You'd have like eggs. Uh, seems bacon. more like a seems more like a pancakes and and so like. Nah, that. man, milk is great with like a nice uh, a nice chicken and potato mm-hmm. dish. Some vegetables, some mashed ju- tapes. Some julienne vegetables. B Rod's nodding her head yes, which but she's from a crazy Canadian wacko family. <laughs> What about you, whiskey? In the whiskey family, was milk popular? No, iced tea, homemade. No, all right. Homemade. I love homemade. Guys, I love homemade. A fucking made. plantation. Not sweet at all. Black wow. loaf, Mister Whiskey. I was gonna say no white milk in your house allowed whatsoever. <laughs> Coming from the militant five percenter family. <laughs> no, uh, we would eat cereal any time of day. So okay. Different milk any time. Different, different. Sure. different. Just like a glass, drinking a glass. <laughs> drinking yeah. a glass of milk with your hamburger dinner. Never. Insane, Ooh, right? Insane. Hamburger, hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. Yeah, yes. Hamburger helper and milk. Hamburger helper. Rachel? Yes. Rachel is a, a camper sitting and watching the show today, and uh, I'll do this for you. And her boyfriend? Brother. 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 Damn. Uh, you know, yeah. you know, you know, <laughs> looks like you had some milk, girl. He looked uh, <laughs> He learned that he learned that uh, that uh, what he, the trick he's talking about is what I pulled in Vegas at Sal's bachelor party. We're, we're all talking to this girl, and I just go, "So is your boyfriend cool with that?" And she goes, "Yeah, he's all right with it." And then everyone was like, "All right." <laughs> he saw the circle dissipate. So funny. And then DeRosa didn't hear it, so he came in he hard. Kept going. And he's like, "What's your favorite?" Band? I think he, I think he gave he it did. three more hours, and then was like, "We connected on everything." <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Yeah. On, um, glass of milk, and you guys for growing up, chalky milk, big, big chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Oh yeah. Chocolate we have milk. with spaghetti. Like anytime we have lasagna or anything oh, with like pasta, milk. Always milk. Love milk always. with spaghetti. Milk with spaghetti or milk with lasagna. What That's shitty so ethnicity good. is your family? <laughs> <laughs> We're like mixed. We're like. Yeah, there's no Italian, Italian. No Italian grandmother would let you drink milk with her sauce. She'd punch you right in the face <laughs> with a wooden spoon. <laughs> She'd wrap you. She'd did wrap you, you right on the ass with that. Did you ever have a glass of milk at uh, dinner? Ever? I. No. I don't uh, think so. When about, I was maybe a kid. What about you, Jacob? But not yeah. sitting Indian style as an adult now, which I've seen you do. Guilty. <laughs> so guilty. I can't support that. It's an Irish tradition. It is. Wow. How about that? Look oh, at that. Oh, you dumb mix fucking <laughs> drink the wrong uh, thing with your food. Shut up, dude. Drinking a big glass yeah. of cold milk That's for dinner. That's your problem. Is you have beer for breakfast it's and a, milk for dinner. It's a tradition for many <laughs> Irish people around the country. <laughs> Jay... That's what it coats your stomach for a night full of whiskey drinking and fighting your wife. It creates a base. Uh, what happens is first you have your milk with your dinner, and for dessert, your wife wears your fist. <laughs> then you get off to Highland and. First off, I like to think that my wife has been talking trash behind me back. So I go, after I finish this milk, I'm going to finish the conversation I'm having in me head with you. <laughs> um, let's t- we have to take. We're so past our second break. Probably fucked up the whole commercial. Oh my thing. god! Wow. I know. But uh, it's Jacob's birthday. It doesn't matter. It's his day, dude. His you're day. gonna sleep. You're gonna sleep naked with Shane tonight. That's my gift to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, yeah. We're zipping by. We still gotta talk. We have to talk. I'm gonna give Jacob a neuro massage. We gotta be caught up. It's me. It's me. <laughs> uh, we have to be caught up on marriage boot camp. Yeah. Because we're going into the weekend. Let's just get into it. Right when we get back. It's the bonfire. Hanging out with Shane Gillis. Branch.com, promo code bonfire. Stephanie Falcone sent us things that we have to dig in the loop, Perlman. Oh, we will. Absolutely. He's, he's dead. He died in jail. Not for any of the blowing stuff. There was a huge Ponzi scam. Uh, and she said she's read his biography, counts on, watched the movie twice. He's obsessed. Yeah, this guy went out. He's crazy. He's had a part of his body inside a lot of young, famous men, I believe. Men that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Men that we've watched mm-hmm. sell out arenas. Don't you wish that these guys, these molester guys, would be more of like, I want to blow you, kids, so at least the kid doesn't have to get all his, his mouth fucked? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Be like, hey, kid, let me give you a good one. I yeah. think Sandusky was into that. You think yeah. he'd get over it a little bit more if you got your dick sucked, if you didn't have to suck an old man's I dick? I think Sandusky was into that. He's the tickle monster. He'd come at... <laughs> <laughs> How the yeah. hell do you know this? Yeah. He, he was a tickle monster. He was good. He was good. Know, he was good at motivating. How do you know his first, first approach? <laughs> uh, we love you, Shane, at Shane M. I Gillis. I love go y'all. See, go see him in uh, Helium, Everything Philadelphia. Moves, uh, Plano, Texas. Go see Jay tomorrow. and Hyenas tomorrow through Saturday. Raleigh, Raleigh North, North Carolina for Dan Soder. Thursday, Thursday. And we'll see you Monday. We love you. Thank you, film crew, Corey, and Lynn, B-Rod, Human Places. Bye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Crackle, crackle.